big talking point on this channel uh, for the last few weeks here has been uh, Sheldon Creed. Pretty much this whole season, right? Uh, one week he'll be running up in the front, going for a win. He'll lose. Uh, get taken out. Uh, make a mistake and spin. Um, just anything you could think of has happened to him to prevent him from winning. Um, kind of Kyle Larson 2014-29-esque. 19-esque. Um, just kind of finding every way possible to lose or not be there at the end to win a race. Um, again, uh, early early enough in the race. I know it's a short race. It's Xfinity, but it's lap 67. Early enough in the race. Um, makes a pretty desperate dive bomb there and uh, loses control and kind of just takes the whole field out in the chain reaction event. Um, I guess the only thing I have to say about Sheldon Creed here is um, Sadly, I'm just going to have to start putting him in the bus category. It's year three in the Xfinity series. Hasn't got a win yet. He's finding ways to lose. And uh, when you're in the Xfinity series, your only goal is to win. That's how you advance. You don't win. You get overshadowed. You're gone. Um, and the only reason I'm going to say he's a bust is because I keep picking him every week to win the, win the dang race because he's got the speed. He's so fast. that just... Can't get it done, so I'm going to put him as a bust. Let reverse karma work here, and uh, hopefully I'm not going to say another word. I don't want to jinx it, so he's a bust. <laughs> Cross my fingers for reverse karma. What are your thoughts on this, Tom? Yeah, I, man, it's it just sucks so bad for him because he has the speed. He has the team. We know that he can do it. It's just that the luck hasn't been on his side but team owners don't look at luck when they hire a driver they look at race wins so uh, you know and and we've said the same thing about uh Haley Deegan with stats you know um we know that Tyler I'm sorry <laughs> um uh Sheldon Creed uh can can win he can be a he is a good driver we saw him dominate in the truck series you know, he, he can do it. I just, I'm not saying I'm losing faith. I'm just saying that um, uh, I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit more time before I label him as a bust because I, I do believe in him. I do believe that, you know, I mean, f for Pete's sake, he's teammates with the 21 car with Austin Hill. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just, it really sucks for me to say this because. Uh, I I do think that he is a uh, championship contender, um, but it's just not showing at all. So I I don't know. I don't know where I feel. I'm I'm conflicted. Yeah, I'm, I'm conflicted. conflicted. Too. I'm just tired of screaming at my TV every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on this, Dallas, with uh, Sheldon Creed here? Sheldon Creed is he's young, and he has. He has a lot of wins in the truck series. He obviously was a uh, 2020 truck champion. He's he's talented. And I think being on a team with Austin Hill, a team that has seen a lot of success over the last couple of years, especially this year and the way they've started off this year, I think it's a little bit of desperation, but a lot of he feels he needs to showcase himself because Austin Hill has been balling this year. He's been having a stellar year. And we know that RCR has good equipment in the Xfinity series. Do they have the best equipment? Probably not. That still goes to Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, but I think right now, at least the way the season's gone, their equipment is as fast, if not faster, than equipment like Junior Motorsports. And Sheldon Creed has had positions to win, and I think he right now feels that he needs to win, so he's trying to do everything that he can. Um, I have. I happened to. I when I first turned on the Xfinity race because I was gone all weekend, but uh, I turned it on and this was the first thing I saw was you know this restart and then Sheldon Creed absolutely sending it in there and as soon as he did that I was like this is not going to work and then they all piled in there and it's something that Creed has a habit of and I think that maybe this incident is hopefully the last one that's kind of a wake up call for him that he's like I need to stop doing this because he's putting himself in these situations. Um, I'm not going to write off Sheldon Creed yet. I think he still has a chance to prove himself this season and kind of come off as one of these cars that could make a run for the championship at the end of the year, but he does need to stop doing bonehead things like that. I agree. That's that's a great point. You guys are getting me all hyped up now. I'm, I'm about to jump right back <laughs> on the Sheldon Creed bandwagon here again. 